So now before we start out airbrushing, you need supplies. So I picked up a few things primer because that's very important. Some people skip it, some people don't. I am not skipping it. I don't want to play around with anything like that. Airbrush cleaner because there's nothing more important than cleaning it. I also have like a basin or something, a little thing to store the brush in and to clean it. There's a great video online that I watch that shows how to clean it. The airbrush itself, I have an air compressor, compressor ready to hook this up to it. And then lastly, airbrush medium, which is going to um, make the acrylic a bit thin so that it, it's ready for the airbrush but I think most of my paints are actually made for airbrush they're very thin so I'm going to use those just straight out and see if that works um because this is my first time I don't want to get really into this stuff I bought this for the future but I will definitely be using the airbrush cleaner and I will be definitely using the primer so let's check out as I find out which color to use so here's the fun part I have all my paints and what I need to do is kind of find one out of the bottle that'll match this guy so that when I actually airbrush onto this bad boy it'll look good enough to match this I don't know how much luck I'm actually going to have this is close but not there yet that might just be good enough though that's too dark that's too dark that is way too wrong about this did I already check this that I don't know if that's good or, or not I don't think that is good I think that this might be the closest I have to it but it, it's a bit off I really didn't want to mix but I might have to I also picked up this box of paints hopefully something in this is a perfect match otherwise I'm I messed up big time but what's this what color is that supposed to be? LED blue. That's a cool color. Oh man, I could do like Naomi stuff with these colors, but yeah. I think I'm, I might need to mix, which is what I really didn't want to do, but whatever. That's how, that's how we do things, guys. So, I think the best mixture will be this bad boy. And deep blue. Just a little bit of both will probably make that color or close to it for this guy. So let's let's do that. Alrighty, so check it out. I taped it, so hopefully I won't get any paint on the actual body. I used some painter's tape, then went over with some scotch tape. No, that's duct tape. I'm a dumbo. But uh, look at that. Looks good. Ready to put it through a set of primation, which will be cool. And speaking of that, you do that... Uh, let's talk safety. Now, you might think I'm a I'm, I'm an old man safety first, but yo, safety is imperative. As you saw in part one, where I cut myself, I still have a scar from that. So I'd recommend if you are airbrushing indoors, you should probably have a window open, air fan. You probably should be doing it outdoors or something. You should use a respirator too. You know, just just better be safe than sorry. And also wear some gloves or something in case uh, wear some gloves. You see there in case like you don't want to get fingerprints or something if you have to really touch it but the way I did this I just have to touch here and that's kinda of cool right so let's let's get down to the prime a primer prime prime about a big mistake yeah yeah I I this is like a failure device uh, this it came out okay but I literally had zero clue what I was doing with the airbrush I think I accidentally clogged it the pressure I couldn't figure out how to control this thing I'm I like I was reading the instruction manual uh, doing it like that but maybe maybe I did it wrong I I honestly have zero clue what I was doing with this thing uh, because I, this first time doing it I'm I'm, I'm one of those people who uh, I kind of like to run before I learn to walk and 
yeah, maybe I should have walked. I did watch a few tutorials on YouTube how to how to uh, airbrush. I had this little booklet that came with it. Yet still, still I, I botched it up big time. So this might be clogged. I think I think I clogged it because I'm a big bozo head and I don't really understand <laughs> how to do it. Like it, I was watching the video online and it made it seem so easy, as things always are online. But uh, in the real world, things are a bit more difficult than you'd see but I think YouTube revenue loves when you put fail in the title and this will definitely be a fail because part one was a failure because I was trying to learn how to torso crack and that failed part two trying to learn how to airbrush and that failed but our failures make us who we are you know you you have to make mistakes if, if I came out here and I did this perfectly I would be a magician or something like that. I would be a prodigy. I'd be the Mozart of airbrushing. I expected to make mistakes as I hope you expected me to because this was going to be like a four part series. Maybe it's gonna be a six part. Maybe you're gonna see me in a few weeks once I figure out what the problem was with this because it takes me a while to film these guys. Uh, but for now, maybe I can figure it out. It starts, actually it ends, but it starts because the color is not right. It is not satin and it's it's too not bold. Needs to be a bold blue, but this is like an awkward blue. So I'm gonna need to shop for more paint. So don't forget to like this video, guys. That way it'll show up for more people so I can get more YouTube rev so I can buy more. Or maybe I'll just start a Patreon so people can pay me so that I can make customs and then sell them and then make millions. I'm not, I don't plan. I have zero plans to sell customs. The whole point of the series is to show you how to do it. Um, I actually really enjoyed spray airbrushing once I figured it out and next time I'm gonna get like a head strap for this camera and have this on my head so you can see crazy angles like that but I figured out how to use the airbrush which is awesome so it is a fail because it's the wrong type of paint but this this compressor thing it, it's beautiful I I did have to go on Amazon and figure out how to use this because it was the wrong pressure that's why it was not working well and I'm still I'm still learning how to do this but it's it's looking great. I'm gonna get some new filters for my for my uh, respirator because this is useful. It gets pretty stinky, I'll be honest, uh, blowing this stuff. But but this was actually I'm I'm feeling really satisfied with this video. I don't know if you guys will be feeling as satisfied as I am because I didn't really make that much progression. But considering that I took an afternoon and basically learned how to airbrush. I think it's awesome. So thank you all for watching this. Hopefully the next update will be soon. It depends on how much money it takes to buy more paint or how much money it takes to pay someone to mix it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'll, I'll use my art friends and, and tell them they have to let me know how to mix paint to make it more vibrant. <laughs> so yeah, Ingram, if you want to tell me that, let me know. But thank you all for watching this again. Don't forget to hit the like. Let's get it to 15,000 likes so I can get $15,000. Not That's not how it works. <laughs>